to play in your fun and your games Always hungry for more, that's just how I was born Take me somewhere I don't know And give me your freedom Welcome guys to this video in South Australia on the Limestone Coast. The Limestone Coast is in the southeast of South Australia. It's not really well known, but to South Australians and Victorians, it's a great um, place to come camping and to forward driving along the beachfront. And there's lots of sand dunes, probably 180 kilometres um, sand dunes from basically from Kingston right down to Carpenter Rocks. And uh, just behind me here is the um, Cape Banks Lighthouse. It was um, erected in 1881, and all along this coastline, if you look behind me, is rugged as a reef just out to the back of you. And um, yeah, there's lots of uh, shipwrecks along here. The most famous one was in um, 1859, where the uh, Ad Admela come aground, probably I don't know, five or six kilometres offshore here in real rough seas. And uh, there's a 101 people on board and uh, only 24 survived. So shortly after that, it was um, put together to um, build this uh, lighthouse behind me at Cape Banks. And um, yeah, it still runs today, but obviously today it's uh, electric power before it was um, candle lit, I believe. The Cape Banks lighthouse is located a few kilometers outside the small fishing town of Carpenter Rocks in South Australia, and is approximately 450 kilometers from Adelaide and 460 kilometers from Melbourne, and is the perfect spot to start my limestone coast trip. Yeah, the Cape Banks uh, Lighthouse is one of my um, favourite campsites along the um, South Australian coast. And just behind the uh, lighthouse here, probably two or three hundred metres are all the campsites. I think there's six or eight campsites there, uh, all secluded in behind the sand dune. So you don't get the uh, southerly breeze freezing you during the night, which is great. The lighthouse here in, is um, in the Canundra National Park. Yeah, you might have a couple of quiet rums before heading to bed. There's a couple of campers here and just camping in the car park here. And um, I don't know if you can see the light on the lighthouse has just started up. Just to warn any ships or boats passing by. So yeah, we'll see you in the guy in the morning guys. Bye for now. Well, good morning guys. Woken up for a glorious morning here at Carpenter Rocks. Oh, getting a bit hungry, so I'll have some breakfast. We'll pack up, then we'll lock her into low range and head into sand dunes. See you shortly. Well, I've just let the tyres down now to 15 psi to um, get me through these uh, sand dunes and obviously the beach driving. So um, if I need to go down any lower, I will. And I've also got uh, max tracks on the roof so if I get into trouble. So let's lock it into the low range and hit the tracks. We've got probably about 52 kilometres to um, Kochi um, Campground. That's where I camp tonight. And that's just near the little seaside town of uh, South End. So I'm um, not sure how long that'll take. Probably take um, three hours to get there. So it's only about eight, nine o'clock in the morning. So I'll just casually get down there, set up camp, and um, relax this afternoon. So let's lock it in the low range and hit the tracks. Some would say I'm insane in the riding away, but I just love to play in your fun and your games. Always hungry for more, that's just how I was born. Take me somewhere I don't know and give me your freedom. Oh, you love me to pieces. Yeah, I need it. Won't you pandemonium? Life is so easy Whoa, you love me to pieces Yeah, I need it, won't you bend a moment
Hello guys, just stopped off for a bit of a break and this is one of our many um, bays or coves along the way in the limestone coast. This one's uh, number two rocks and it's about 10 k's north of uh, Carpenter Rocks. But look at this roof view, absolutely nice beach. Yeah, stunning. Yeah, put this place on your bucket list guys, uh, the limestone coast of South Australia. It's got dozens and dozens of nice coves like this and um, dozens and dozens of beautiful beaches to drive on. So I'll um, just having a drink here, taking the views and then we'll head, head on our journey. It's only been about an hour since I left the um, lighthouse at Carpenter Rocks and I'm absolutely loving Canunda National Park. There are some pretty little coves with awesome beaches and if it wasn't so cold in the water I would have gone for a swim. Also if you're into fishing I'm sure you'd be able to catch something along this um, magnificent coastline. Well time to get back in the D-Max and continue on my journey. off onto the beach it's really soft sand here and um spare myself so just gotta dig it out put the max tracks on first time i've ever used them so we'll see how we go so um i'm lucky the high tide the tide's going out so i've got plenty of time so i'll um dig it out a bit more underneath and um, put the max tracks on and see if i can get it guys two hours later and three attempts I finally got out the trick was to um, clear everything underneath uh, do a really good job of clearing all the sand underneath the car and then I lowered the tire pressures down to 10 psi and it was my last dish effort the tide was coming in I thought it was going out but it must be still coming in so um, yeah it got within about one and a half to two meters of my car so I panicked a bit and I thought if I didn't get out this last time, I'd have to bury the um, spare wheel I think and try and winch it out. But that would have been a task and a half because it was bellied out, I would have dug it all out underneath the back of the car because uh, that's where my spare wheel is then to get it off. So it would have been a big job and then burying it as well. So I'm absolutely knackered now after digging it out but finally got it out which is good. Lesson learnt. I have to get two more max tracks I think. Just two is not enough. You get out and then just the back front wheels stick in again. So um, I'm going to go back to Adelaide. I think I'll buy two more Max tracks. Have a set of four. Good tip, guys. But yeah, you can see where I. Uh, you can see down here.
Further up this awesome beach we turn inland and head towards Kochi Campground and set up camp for the night. Well, we've just set up our camp at Kochi um, Campground. It's just a, oh, maybe 5 to 10 k's out of um, South End in the Kananda National Park and it's, yeah, it's a nice sand camp spot this one. It's all lush green, yeah, you've got these little secluded areas. The beaches are maybe four or five hundred metres that way. And um, yeah, we get no breeze in here, which is good. It's a pretty still day now, but yeah, it'll be nice and protected um, when it does blow up. So um, yeah, Kochi um, campground, I've got campground number six, and I think it's the best one out of them all. It's right down the back. So it's not off the main road, so the roads are maybe 50 metres that way. And um, yeah, very nice campground. It's got a table and chairs over there and also a um, fire pit. But because it's a fire band, I can't have a uh, fire tonight, but that's okay. If you ever come in this uh, area and it's not fire band, you can easily get uh, caravans in here too, or uh, camper trailers. It's um, You've got a dirt road from South End, which is all two wheel drive. It's just Graded dirt road, and then in the Kochi campground, it's maybe 100 metres in, 200 metres in, and it's all easy, um, packed hard, firm surface, and um, pretty straight in, so you don't have to back a caravan in. And um, you probably wouldn't get a caravan here, but you'd definitely get a camper trailer in this sort of one. But there's some other like drive through ones um, just around a bit further, it'd be perfect for a um, small caravan. So, yeah, guys, um, Kochi caravan, um, campground. <laughs> I didn't feel much this morning, I just woke up, packed up and had some breakfast before heading down to Carpenter Rocks to um, catch up with my mate and um, yeah, just spent some time with him, had a, had a coffee and um, yeah, he gave me some um, crayfish, I was only expecting maybe one crayfish but he gave me three so thanks Paulie for the uh, crayfish and I'll um, be having one tonight on the beach hopefully um, with a nice beautiful sunset and a bottle of red wine so um, thank you very much. So now we're just heading back into our south end guys and then um, we'll hit the tracks in sand dunes and the plan is today is head into um, or from south end down to beachport. It's, I think it's roughly about 20 to 30 kilometer trek through the sand dunes along the beaches and um, yeah then before getting into beachport this afternoon we've got a fuel up uh, a bit low on fuel only got a quarter of a tank but I'll um, get some fuel in beachport and um, before hitting the tracks between Beachport and Robe and I'll um, camp tonight somewhere maybe Nora Carina around there maybe in the sand dunes so next time you'll see me we'll um, be airing down the tyres and hitting the sand dunes of South End. Yeah, it's a beautiful town um, South End it's only a little small town it's only got a general store and I um, don't think it's even got a pub but it's got this um, lovely jetty that you can walk on. There's no fishing off it or swimming off it. It's just to launch a boat and um, tie off to. But as you can see in the background, there's plenty of professional fishing boats behind me in the bay here. And the main um, thing they fish for is rock lobster. The South Australian rock lobster is a, a sought after um, crustacean, mainly um, Asian countries, Japan, China, Southeast Asia and some parts of Europe and buy it and um, if you ever tasted it it's yeah it's a beautiful meat it's very sweet and it's not plain like um, the Western Australian version of the um, lobster it's 1 a.m. and I ain't tired I can stand right here and talk all night if you want I ain't got no place to be no one's waiting for me you got like a million ideas what we could do Cause I'm not gonna let you slip away I won't waste this There's something about the way you fix 
your eyes on me I can't help myself fall in love I go crazy I, I, I. What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? I, I, I. When you give me that smile I think my heart's turned up the pace I don't care about what we do If I get to be with you what you wanna do now is to be afraid of when we're young, stupid, and in love When you talk, listen close There's just something about your voice I think that every word you say to me is like poetry I just want you for my own It's really easy to tell that you're the best girl I've ever known I'm not gonna waste this what a stunning place uh, South End is. Now we hit the beach and follow Rivoli Bay around to Beachport, which took me about 45 minutes to an hour. It's only a short drive, approximately about 17, 18 kilometers. When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turned up the pace. I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you. What you wanna do now was to be afraid of when we're young, stupid, and in love. guys um, got caravans and um, want to set up this would be a great spot beach port to set up it's central to all the um, sand dunes and the beaches along this area so they have a beautiful um, caravan park right on the foreshore here and um, they have restaurants bars and um, some nice old pubs you can have um, a nice meal in but yeah I would recommend if you've got a caravan bring it down here set up in beach port for a few days and south ends on here half an hour drive so you can stay and take in the sand dunes of the south end or head down to Carpenter Rocks which is probably an hour to hour and 15 from here and um, there you can do the um, Carpenter Rocks to a south end track which takes three to five hours like, thing, like I said yesterday I did it in five or six hours because I was stopping along the way and um, filming and um, just taking it all in actually but yeah, no point rushing these things. Also, um, obviously you've got the beach port to road run. You can do that in a day easy, probably half a day if you're just cruising. But if you want to spend time in, in the area, have a look at all the beaches and that. Some beautiful views along there. You can go swimming along these little safe beaches. And um, if you're a keen stalker or a um, spear fisherman, yeah, there's heaps of reefs and um, rocky outcrops over there. You can probably even score yourself a crayfish. But yeah, I'd central. Um, I'd set up here as the central location if you've got a caravan, and then, like I said, robes. I've probably only about 45 minutes drive if you went on the highway. So it's yeah, set up here over a few days, and you can take in all the sand dunes. But I'll spin you around and just have a look at this absolutely stunning bay.
Well guys, we're just about to start the Beachport to Robe track along the sand dunes and the beaches. It's roughly about 35 to 40 kilometres of um, low range forward driving and um, very similar to the um, Carpenter Rockster uh, South End section. But this one um, is a bit more softer, especially the beaches, so you have to be very careful. I probably even lowered tyres down to 10 pound since I got bogged yesterday when I had a 15. But yeah, just behind me, you follow the road out of, oh, I should tell you how to get here. Um, it's pretty easy, just from the jetty, you head up the main street, past the um, hotel, Beachport Hotel on the left, and past the um, police station, onto um, Lake George Drive. And it's roughly about 10 kilometers uh, before you get to this spot, and you have to air down the tires before you hit the sand. But yeah, it follows this um, large lake, well, obviously it's Lake George, just behind me. And it's all fresh water, it's massive. Uh, I'm not sure how big it is, but yeah, it's kilometres long and kilometres wide. Um, in the information centre in uh, Beachport, they can, you can get this map. Um, I'll show you there. I'll try a bit better. Oh, it's a bit windy, but it's, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a track note. So on the back, yeah, it's like track notes. On the back, it tells you from the information centre all the way down to Robe what to see along the way and it's all measured out so if you zero your odometer at the um, information centre you can follow the um, all the sites to see along the way and it's um, yeah very good and that's free to at the information centre so let's uh, air down the tyres lock it in the lower range and start the Robe oh, sorry the Beachport to Robe beach section Before the sun goes down It's what you do
I will just set up camp. It doesn't take me too long. It took me about 30 minutes, just under 30 minutes to uh, set it up with the awning, uh, put the stretcher up and then the swag and then pull out the kitchen. So yeah, don't take long at all. Very nice. Morning guys from Stony Rise campsite just out of Robe. Here yeah, just working up to a glorious morning. No wind, nice and warm, so I think it's gonna be a great day. So the plan is today is just to obviously have breakfast, pack up, and then do the last got I think it's about three or four hundred meters down down this uh, little track here at the back to the beach. And the last for oh, three or four, maybe five kilometres into Robe. And um, yeah, I'll take a look around Robe and I'll probably um, have lunch there, I reckon. One of those crayfish on the beach, hopefully. And then um, I've got to go to the information centre. I've never done the, uh, the beach track from Robe down to Kingston. That's where I want to finish the uh, trip in Kingston. So I'll go see them and see what it's like and see if I can get a map. And um, I think it's only another maybe 30, 30 odd kilometres I think, but well, we'll check that out in the information centre. But yeah, last night there were mozzies everywhere here, there must be water around. So I got eaten alive after, actually, I've just put it out now, there's a lot of these little flying ants or something around here at the moment, they're annoying the shit out of me, so um, I'll show you what I do. I bought this, um, it's from BCF or something like that, it's just these sandalwood sticks, and um, I'm not sure you can see them. It's, yeah, you just um, light them up. I've got one going down here. And it just puts out this smoke and all the bugs are gone. Yeah, it's really, really good. So, yeah, well, if you're camping, grab a set of these sticks. Or well, you can get those um, rings, I dare say they're the same. But yeah, these are working really good sandalwood. So it keeps the bugs away. All the mozzie is gone now, all these flying ants were just swarming around me before. They've all gone too, so it makes life comfortable when camping. Stony Rise campground. Um, like I said earlier, it's only a few hundred metres down to the beach for the last run into Robe. Yeah, it's been a good trip. Beautiful day again today, nice sunny. Oh, I forgot to clean the windscreen. <laughs> got a bit of salt spray yesterday, I think, on the window, and it's got dust on it. I'll clean it in when I get in robe.
Let's take a walk around Robe. Robe's a nice uh, seaside village in South Australia and it's um, a very popular spot for both South Australians and Victorian holidaymakers. Robe have some wonderful um, accommodation on offer right on the beachfront or they have a big four caravan park right on the beach, just at Long Beach, which is an absolutely um, stunning location. So I highly recommend Robe for any holiday destination. So let's take a look around Robe. Well guys, feel the stunning view behind me. This is Long Beach at Robe, and I'm just about to get kicking into a nice lobster. Thanks Paulie, I'll enjoy my lunch today. This is the life guys. Beer on the beach. Eating a crayfish or a lobster. Mm. That's magnificent. My seagulls have come here. You got Buckley's. <laughs> Don't get any lobster off me. Oh, I tip my toes in the sea, see if it's cold. Probably is. I haven't had a hot summer yet to warm it up. Oh my god, that's freezing. <laughs> oh, wow. Don't know how cold it is, it only feels like about 10 degrees. <laughs> yeah, we need a couple of months of warm weather and this beach will be beautiful. Look at it, stunning. Gold white sandy beach and turquoise waters. Long Beach is very similar to if you've been up to um, Broome and Cable Beach. It's probably about similar size, about 20 k's long maybe. No, it wouldn't be that long, probably 10 k's long. And uh, it's a hard, you can get on here two wheel drive, it's very easy. And um, yeah, how many cars is there? Maybe about 20 or 30 cars parked up on the beach having a barbecue and stuff. And um, only thing it hasn't got is the camels, but it's very similar. The sea, same colour, and uh, yeah, the beach is very similar. Well, guys, um, just leaving Robe now. You take the Esplanade Road down, and that gives you access to Long Beach, which we're on now. Uh, it's absolutely stunning. This beach, Long Beach, is um, pretty firm actually. I'm only in two wheel drive, so don't need to really air down until you get to the end of this beach and um, get closer to Kingston. Yeah, I enjoyed that flight up at um, on the Tiger Moth. Well worth it guys, just give them a call up. It's um, pretty cheap really, $80 for a scenic flight, 15 minute scenic flight. And if you want to do acrobats, which I didn't choose to do this time, it's $120 and you'll do loop-de-loops and um, spins for you. 
Yeah, absolutely um, stunning views over um, the bay here in Robe and over Robe itself and down the coastline towards um, Carpenter Rocks. It was, um, yeah, absolutely stunning. Well worth it, guys. If you're in Robe, he only flies on um, calm days, but any day during the week or weekends, doesn't matter. As long as it's sunny and um, not windy, he'll take you out. So go see Ross. It's just you can phone him up or just rock up at the aerodrome which is just on the uh, Millicent Road just out of um, Robe only a couple of minutes so yeah well worth it guys well guys I've made it into Kingston and what a place to um, end this video at the Big Lobster all around Australia we've got big things but in South Australia we've got the Big Lobster here at Kingston in the South East well guys, thanks for, if you got this fast, thanks for watching. It's been an epic trip um, from Carpenter Rocks down to South End and South End into Robe. And the last section I've done today is uh, Robe into Kingston. I didn't film a lot, um, mainly because it was just a pretty easy track actually. You follow the first 10 k's of um, Long Beach around and then you go inland around Wright's, I think it's Wright's um, Cape Wright or Wright uh, Rock or something like that. And yeah, you go inland and nothing spectacular. And then you got to bypass Cape Jaffa, and then you're back on the beach at Cape Jaffa for the final run up to uh, Kingston, which is just a flat beach. You nearly do it in two wheel drive, and that's about I think that took about 18 k's, 19 k's, something like that into Kingston. So yeah, it's been an epic trip. Um, a couple of favourite things, obviously the lobster sitting on the beach in Robe eating lobster was uh, absolutely magnificent. And um, to get the opportunity to go up in a tiger moth was a long life uh, dream of mine. So I was stoked to do that. So I'll definitely have to bring the kids back down here. My youngest one, Jacob, he'd love that. And um, next time I think I might take the um, adventure package, which you can do some loop-to-loops and barrel rolls and things like that. Absolutely stunning views of um, robe from the air. So I hope you like, enjoyed this um, video, guys. Um, please subscribe, hit the like button. And until next time, happy camping. Bye for now. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe, hit the bell icon, which will encourage me to create more content for you guys. Until next time, take care.